Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal Family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to the Indonesian uh, police fighting crime This video was suggested by Therion No thank you very much Therion Kaisi For taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Inshallah we'll get started with the video momentarily And at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction So please make sure you stay until uh, the end The video is by 86 and Custom Protection uh, Net And the uh, link of uh, the video is in the description below in case you guys uh, wanted to uh, check it out with that said now let's get started with our video oh wow what is this oh there's a police officer with like three four machetes and two motorcycles on the ground I guess these are the Motorcycles of the criminals, maybe. Yeah, there's one. Oh, there's four of them. There's an American show too, it's called Cops, and they do the same thing. They just go actually with the police and shows them catching people with drugs and, you know, whatever weapons. And I think this is probably similar where they're showing the patrol going around and catching criminals in Indonesia, basically. Team Jaguar. It's hard to tell whether they're chasing somebody or if they're going to a specific location to bust people. Oh, there's already the other stops of people. Yeah. Three of them. Oh. Let him go. I think he said it wasn't me. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> That gun is like crazy. It has like this big piece. It's kind of like a grenade launcher. Maybe it's like a smoke grenade launcher or something. Mereka betul-betul berisik keras, tidak mengakui telah melakukan tawuran di lokasi itu. 
Di BPN ada anak-anak nongkrong juga sih. Matanya Sekarang masih ada. Ketiga anak tersebut Sasul tinggal di tempat dan ditunggui oleh salah satu anggota Jaguar. Selanjutnya kami bergegas ke anggota Jaguar yang lain yang sedang berupaya mengamankan pelaku pelaku tawuran di lokasi yang berbeda. Macam ni. Yuk, jadi serjantung kamu yang bermain tadi. Mana? Itu yang tadi yang tadi menjadi dalam. Wow. They try and do good. Keeping basically criminals off the road. Taking those weapons off the road so nobody gets hurt. Poor guy's case is gonna get hit. Somebody ran away. Ditemukan beberapa senjata tajam yang dibuang oleh mereka dan anggota kami yang lain yang menyisir di lokasi berbeda berhasil mengamankan beberapa orang dan dibawa ke lokasi tersebut. Oh, there's so many of them. It's like five, six of them. Oh my goodness, it's way more than that. Looks like they give him more of like you know a talk, which is nice because it's kind of like a parental talk. Uh, uh, you know, they look like young youngsters, and the police officer is you know like an older gentleman, so he's probably giving them more of a talk to try to you know smarten up, stop doing these stupid things. <laughs> Look at that. Akhirnya datanglah tiga orang yang kami amankan pertama bawa 
anggota saya ke lokasi itu yang tadinya bersikeras betul-betul tidak mengakui kalau dia pelaku tawuran setelah kami cross-check dengan teman-temannya di lokasi tersebut akhirnya dia mengakui dari salah satu kelompok yang melakukan tawuran domisilinya di kota Bogor ini ikut gak nih? oh iya, kamu ikut gak nih? kamu ikut mana? kamu ikut mana? kamu ikut mana? kamu ikut mana? They've lined up a lot of them together. Come on, they look like youngsters, you know. And it's good that they're not locking them up and taking them to jail, you know. Just instead trying to talk them, talk to them, and then making make them smart enough, right? There you go. It's good that still, you know, in, in Indonesia they talk to them here. They found the weapons. Khalas, like, you know, put handcuffs and take them, you know. But at least they're still, they're trying to talk to them and maybe, you know, give them a chance and try to smarten them up and talk to them and then maybe make them understand that they're making mistakes, right? And they let them go, I think. Oh, I think they're unlocking their phones and checking them to see like what messages were they sending or what were they doing, right? Wow. No, oh, there's a couple more than I got. I think this brother is probably the leader of the, this uh, police crew. Oh, 
Crazy machetes. I like their motorcycle though, it's nice. Thick tires. It's like those off road ones, so they can go anywhere. And they look sharp too. Mm, they let them go. Oh no, they look like they run to the police station. You know, good for them, that's good that they're going around checking, taking these weapons uh, out of people's hands. Sometimes people might think, you know what, I'm going to keep this for protection. If something happens, I'm going to use it. But you know what, as human beings, maybe if something happens where we're upset and we have so much anger, instead of using it for your protection, you never know, you could use it for offensive to get to hit somebody because you're mad too, right? So it's good that they're getting, getting those off of the street and trying to keep people uh, safe. And the youth, you know, at the younger age, we have all made mistakes we don't really understand. So it's good that, for example, they're going and talking to them and maybe that might give them hope to change their ways too. So really interesting, guys. Thank you very much for suggesting this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to react to another video, you can put your uh, suggestions in the comment section below. As always, Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Shukran and mercy for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care